All right, this is Matthew Weatherby, vegan at power. I just got back from working out, stopped by pinatas afterwards. I almost always go there to um, eat inside. It produces way much, way less trash than if I get stuff to go. But I was running a little short on time today. So I kind of feel bad about this. We've gotten pretty good at this house. Like there's four people here and we normally make like half a barrel full of trash a week, which isn't ideal, but it's a lot better than it used to be. But yeah, I don't feel real good about making this much trash, but it's the way it worked out today. You can see a side of rice and beans here from piñatas. That looks like there's plenty of room in there. I might as well use this since it's getting wasted anyway. Get something out of it. So, you get the chips and salsa bar. They have a really good salsa bar. There's all kinds of stuff there like cilantro, onions, a variety of different sauces, jalapenos and stuff. My favorite, for myself personally, are these little haiku habanero ones like I probably butchered the pronunciation of that but I, all these really good like garden fresh vegetables from upcountry Maui delicious habanero it's the second hottest one they have definitely the best one they have flavor wise so, and then I also love heat. So, another one of these, you can see I, everybody has different likes and dislikes. I happen to love spice. So I'm making my rice and bean dip of death for my chips. <laughs> this one right here is the hottest one they have. It's not it's not bad, but it doesn't have like all the fresh vegetables and wonderful, wonderful flavor that the other one does, but it has more spice. So this is just to add some heat. Then of course, got some jalapenos here. <laughs> These things are great. So I mix this all up into a crazy concoction and have like my bean, my bean dip of death. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this may go without saying to vegans because they know more about nutrition than most people, or at least the ones that I talk to seem to. I'm sure that people go all over the spectrum on their variety of knowledge but one thing I see hold people back in strength training a lot is the belief that they're not doing things the absolutely best way they possibly can so why bother putting forth the effort and they'll do this in two areas whoa sorry about that I always forget how little these lenses are and how big my fingers are carelessness anyway they'll it'll either be they'll think that um they're not getting the right supplements and stuff so they're not getting the most other workout or else they'll think they're not doing the right routine and either way it discourages them and keeps them from taking action or putting the energy into their workout that they should be and that's just silliness because if you think about it what would make you stronger? Putting a lot of time and energy and focus into doing something that's not optimal, but at least the right direction, or sitting around pining around doing nothing because you think you're doing the wrong thing. I think the answer to that question is obvious. So another thing is the supplements industry. Think of it kind of as the healthcare industry. 
where they market it good and charge a lot and things are sort of overrated. <laughs> That's how a lot of the supplements are. I'm not saying all of them are junk, but I am saying that it's a good way to make money from people who really, really want something. So if you just eat good and work out hard, I think you'll do a whole lot better than people that are sitting around wishing they had the perfect supplement or anything. I'll talk about routines and stuff at a later date right now, even though this may look like crazy insane mush to most people, I actually love it and I am having difficulty exercising patience, so I'm going to eat this now. So I wish you a great day.